Hi everyone, I am Ariel Lim, and this is Ariel Lim Yoga, so you know who I am, you know what we're doing. Thank you for joining me on the mat today for yoga for the hips and the heart. In today's practice, we are going to open up those hips, activating the sacral chakra, and open up our chest, activating that heart chakra. So ultimately, this practice is about letting go, opening ourselves up to whatever good things are coming our way and it's ultimately ultimately about self-love so we are going to sit upright in a nice seated comfortable position let the hips grow heavy here as the spine grows nice and long we're reaching up through the top of the head letting the shoulders relax back and down take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale out of the mouth, settling into our practice. On our next inhale, we'll rise the arms up and overhead, reaching up towards the sky. And then we'll lower that right palm to the mat, reaching up and over with the left fingertips, breathing up through the hip, the side body, and out through the fingers. Take another nice deep inhale. And exhale, we'll come back through center, reaching, reaching. Maybe you gaze up at the sky. And then we'll lower that left hand to the mat and reach up and over with the right fingertips. As we inhale, we'll let the breath travel up through the right hip, through the side body, out through the arm and fingertips. Another nice deep inhale. And exhale, we'll come back through to center. We'll bring the hands to the knees and we are going to move into some seated cat cows here. So on an inhale, we're going to open the chest, arch the back, lift the chin, cow pose. Exhale to round the spine, bring the navel to the spine, bring the chin to the chest, bring the shoulders back, cat pose. Take another nice deep inhale into our cow. And exhale back into our cat, rounding the spine, bringing the chin to the chest. A couple more cat cows at your own pace, following your own breath. Inhaling to come forward into cow. And exhaling to round the spine back into your cat pose. Waking up the spine and opening up through the chest. One more round. And then we'll come back up to a nice neutral spine here. We're going to bring the palms of the hands on either side of the hips. Still sitting up nice and tall, but begin to start to lean back, pressing down with those hands opening across the chest, bringing the shoulders together and back, almost as if you were trying to squeeze a pencil between the shoulder blades. And then you can let the chin come up towards the sky, let the head hang back. This is a modified version of our camel pose. Take a nice deep breath, breathing in through, up to the chest, out through the crown. Beautiful, we'll come back up to center, bring the arms up and overhead, reach towards the sky, and then we'll reach forward, leading with the chest for a forward fold. Bring the forehead towards the mat. You do not have to reach. We want to keep our hips nice and heavy here, so we're not lifting up the booty from the mat. We're staying nice and rooted as we reach forward, getting a nice stretch across the chest, in the upper back, in the low back. Inhale and exhale. We'll come back up and find our way into a tabletop position here on all fours, bringing the wrists underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. Have the fingers spread nice and wide here, distributing the weight evenly between the fingertips. And then we'll walk the hands out a little bit further, bring the biceps by the ears as we bring our chest 
towards the mat, keeping the hips lifted for our melting heart pose, also known as puppy pose. This is a beautiful heart opening posture. Take a nice deep breath and exhale. Enjoying this stretch in the upper part of the body. Take another nice deep inhale, breathe into those shoulders. And exhale, letting go of any tension you may be carrying. We'll begin to walk back up to our tabletop position. Bring those big toes to touch. Bring the knees out wide, as wide as your mat, or as wide as is comfortable. As you sink the hips back towards the heels, reach forward with the hands, bringing the chest to the mat for an extended child's pose. You can release your forehead to the mat. Maybe you rock your forehead side to side, giving it a nice massage as you try to keep the glutes towards the heels. Maybe you have the space here as you inhale to open the legs a little wider, getting a better stretch in the hips. Exhale to let go of any tension you may be carrying in your hips, in your thighs. Take another nice deep inhale, breathe into those hips. And exhale, letting go. We'll make our way back up to our tabletop position. We'll tuck the toes under, we'll lift the hips up and back for our downward facing dog. You can pedal it out here, lifting one heel, dropping the other. Taking a couple moments here to wake up the legs. And then we'll bring those big toes to touch, extend the right leg up and back. And then you can bend that knee off split dog, opening up those hips. Inhale and exhale. We're going to step the right foot outside of the right hand. We'll stay lifted on that back toe for our lizard pose, pressing the palms into the mat, lifting up through the chest. Maybe you turn the right foot onto its side to get a little bit of a deeper stretch in the hips as you inhale i want you to breathe into your hips and as you exhale let go of any tension any emotional or physical stress you're carrying just let it go let it flow into the mat if you need to lower that back knee by all means do so but i encourage you to challenge yourself a little bit get a nice deep stretch in those hips and across the left psoas muscle take a nice Deep inhale, breathing in and exhale, letting it go. On our next inhale, we'll step back to a plank position and we'll take a vinyasa. So you can lower all the way to the belly and lift up for cobra, or you can move into your chaturanga. So we'll move halfway and inhale into our up dog, keeping the thighs and the knees off of the mat. And then we'll take it back to downward facing dog from your cobra or your up dog. Taking another moment here to pedal it out. Beautiful. We'll bring those big toes to touch once more. And then we'll lift the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. You can bend that knee off, stacking the hips, opening the hips a little bit more. Inhale. And exhale to step that left foot outside of the left hand. Again, we're gonna stay up on that right toe, keeping the knee lifted. If you can, challenge yourself. Bring the wrists underneath the shoulders, open across the chest. Take a nice deep breath, breathing into that left hip. And exhale, same deal as before. Let any of that stress or tension, whether it's physical or emotional, let it go. We carry a lot of it in our hips, and this practice is meant to help you let it go. Take another nice deep inhale here. Maybe you turn that left foot onto its side, deepening that stretch. Inhale and exhale. We'll step back 
into our plank and take a vinyasa. So you can do the all the way to your belly up into a cobra or lower halfway and come up to upward facing dog. Inhale and exhale back to our downward facing dog. Taking a moment here just to pedal it out. And then we'll bring those knees to the mat and come up into a kneeling posture. I'm going to turn onto my side here so you can see what we're doing next. We're going to move into a modified camel position. So as you're kneeling, place your hand on your hips and begin to press the hips forward, trying to keep the legs together here. Pressing the hips past the knees as we lean back. Maybe you let the head come back here. Or maybe you're comfortable up here. Taking a nice deep breath, keeping the chest open. Inhale and exhale. We'll hold for three, for two, and one. We'll come down for a closed knee child's pose, bringing the hands behind us, the palms lifted, forehead to the mat. Inhale and exhale. Taking a couple breaths here just to counteract that back bend. Take another nice deep inhale. And exhale. Let it go. We'll come back up to our kneeling posture. And if you are comfortable in that modified version, by all means, you can do that again. Or you could follow me into a more full expression of camel pose. So we'll start with the hands on the hips and begin to Press the hips forward, keeping the knees close together. Bringing the head back, reaching for those heels. Opening across the chest, lifting the chin. Take a nice big inhale here. And exhale. We'll hold for three. We'll hold for two. And we'll hold for one. Slowly come back up. And then we'll move into that closed knee child's pose. Coming down, bringing the hands behind us with the palms facing up, forehead to the mat. Take a nice deep breath here. And exhale. One more nice deep inhale. And exhale. Letting it go. Finding peace. We'll slowly come up to a seat, extend the legs out in front of us, scoot our booty towards our heels and come down to our backs, wrapping our arms around the shins as we hug the knees in towards the chest. And here, just draw circles on the ceiling with your knees in any direction that feels good. Just massaging out that lower back the upper part of the glutes and the hips here should feel really nice. Sometimes hip openers can cause a little bit of tension in the low back. So we're just going to knead out our low back for a moment. Beautiful. From here, we're going to bring the soles of the feet to the mat. The knees are up to the sky. And we'll just adjust ourselves so that as we walk our heels back, the back of the heels brush our fingertips, our palms are facing down by our hips. We're going to tilt our pelvis to find our low back flush with the mat. For me, I have to tilt my pelvis back a little bit. Maybe you need to tilt yourself a little bit forward to find that connection with the earth. And then we'll begin to press up with the hips, keeping the knees close together as if we were holding a block between our knees, finding a nice line of energy from the knees down to the hips in our bridge posture here, lifting the chest to the chin and the chin to the ceiling or the sky. Take a nice deep inhale here, breathe into those hips and exhale, we'll hold for three. We'll hold for two and we'll hold for one. 
slowly lower your hips to the mat, one vertebra at a time. And then we'll lift the knees and reach for either the inside or the outside of the feet, bringing the knees towards the armpits for a happy baby. One last final hip opener as our chest is nice, is nice and open here. Maybe you rock side to side, lower one foot as you raise the other. Just a moment of silliness as we let go of any tension that's lingering still in those hips and those legs. Take a nice deep breath, trying to keep the low back flush with the mat. And exhale, letting anything keeping you from finding peace go. When you're satisfied, slowly extend the right leg to the right corner of the mat and the left leg to the left corner of the mat. We'll release the hands to the mat with the palms facing up. Taking a nice deep breath here, we breathe into our hips. Bringing that energy up through the torso to our hearts. And as we exhale, we surrender into this self-love that we've cultivated on the mat today. Take a nice deep inhale. Breathe into all of your extremities, out through the legs, out through the fingertips. Take another nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, relax the weight of your body into your mat and enjoy your Shavasana. When you're ready, begin to wing wiggle the fingers and the toes, bringing movement back into the body, returning to this space, to your mat, to your body. Choose whichever side feels good today, using your upper arm as a pillow, taking a moment to notice how you feel. Notice if you've been able to let anything go and open yourself up to better day. Taking a moment to extend gratitude to the self for coming to the mat today. Making time for yourself to show some self-love. Keeping your eyes closed, your gaze lowered. Make yourself up to a nice comfortable seat. And sit up nice and tall, relaxing the shoulders down. And all together we'll take an inhale, rising the arms up and overhead, the palms meet. And as we exhale, we bring the hands down to heart center. Open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for this yoga for hips and heart. I hope that you are able to let some things go and that you are able to open yourself up to the beautiful opportunities that may await you throughout the rest of your day, your week. I hope to see you again on the mat soon. And as always, from my heart to yours.